Hey folks, how you doing? I want to just take a brief moment today and give you a couple tips for starting your holes housing regarding how far, you know, what diameter to make them and also just a really simple way to build one. I just wanted to talk to you briefly about the diameter to make your holes housing. So a really simple way to make a holes housing is to just put a, put a nail in the ground or just get a twig and stick it in the ground and then measure another twig or get a piece of PVC and measure out the radius you want your holes housing to be. So my piece of PVC here, this is actually a four foot radius this is a four and a half foot radius in the middle of that line. And then that's a five foot radius on the outside. So I started building this holes housing using the 10 foot radius. And frankly, it was, it was freaking huge, which is great if you've got a lot of wood to store, but I really wanted to get my, you know, keep my holes housing a little more modest and, and get that wood off the ground. So, so as little of it touches the ground as possible. So long story short, um, with a four foot radius holes house, and what I'll do is when I'm laying my logs, I'll just get to the end of the log and make sure the triangular piece I use for the bottom just touches, the line of that log just touches um, where my line is, give or take. It looks like I'm not perfect there. But that'll give you a rough radius to work off of where you're gonna have on your splits for the first row, you're gonna have, you know, within an inch or two, a fairly regular line. But the thing I want you to notice is that when you put the logs on top, so if you look down there, I'm touching the nail and my radius is here for four feet, but the logs, because of overhang, they still go out you know, another three to five inches. So what I noticed was if you're building a holes housing that's four feet to where this crack is, you can usually add about another three quarters of a foot. So even though I'm using a four foot radius for where I'm building, this holes housing is basically a touch less than nine. Basically add a touch less than a foot beyond what you have there. So if you use the five foot radius, you're actually building a touch less than an 11 foot diameter holes housing. If you use the four and a half foot radius, you're building a touch less than a 10 foot holes housing. And if you use the four, you're, you're building a touch less than a nine foot radius holes housing, which to me for, for my limited firewood needs, maybe five to six cords, I think two of these you know, should be enough if I get them up to five to six feet tall. The last thing I wanted to say was when you're building a holes housing, um, even if it's your first one, be careful not to make the, the diameter too small. I mean, I think a four foot radius is really about as small as I would go, because if you make them smaller than that, you know, every row of the holes housing is going to come in a touch and it, Basically, the, the smaller the radius, the more difficult they are to build. So, you know, again, it's, it's, it's up to you what size holes housing you want to build. But I would say a four foot radius, uh, which creates a nine foot, just a little less than a nine foot damper holes housing, uh, seems to be the, the ideal size um, from what I've seen so far. All right, guys, well, I hope this info helped you folks out. If you're building your first holes housing or if you've been building for a while, uh, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.